Hey guys, welcome to episode 23 here on Comlands in September. Now we're going to blitz through September here really quickly. So I've got just a, uh, I'm just going to share kind of an overall overview of what what happened in September because in all fairness, uh, there was uh, the harvesting and everything's coming in October. And really, I think beyond, uh, you know, moving some cows and getting a field ready, there wasn't a, uh, we didn't have any major, major projects. Although in this brief 10 minute uh, overview here, you're going to, uh, you're going to see some, some changes and in, in stuff. So uh, first of all, I got the milk, <clears throat> excuse me, out of the, uh, out of the, ca- the cow field there. Uh, because we do need to, uh, we do need all the resources out so I can get rid of that pasture. Uh, I grabbed a little, little opportunistic. I grabbed some uh, cheese and and some cake and figured we might as well, uh, might as well make some money here. It's not like we were hurting for money. I mean, we had almost two hundred thousand dollars, but uh, the price was right for uh, for this, so I figured we might as well do that. So we sent the worker up there while I uh, sl- quickly demolished the uh, the field here. Like crazy, 19 months that cow pasture has been there. That's kind of cool. And then we just get rid of the fence. Sorry, it's so dark. Oh, it's 6:22. I got an early start on the day, anyways. Yeah, so I'll just rip through. Fence, fence will be gone. I can't remember how much we make here. 90,000. I think it's about 90,000 dollars. The upcoming challenge that'll not replace this, but the next challenge will be a uh, hard economy. So that'll be uh, interesting going back to selling f- selling things for uh, for not as much money. All right, so we got this guy on the field. Uh, same same issue I was having before, where it's 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 plowing a little inside of what I thought the field was going to be, but that's fine. I go around afterwards and I fix that. Uh, so I had the contractor come in, like I said, now you see the food capacity is 80,000 and the straw capacity is 50,000. So we're going to spend a little bit of time in uh, September here getting these uh, these modern cow barns topped up. I didn't go too crazy with it, but I uh, did want get, to uh, get something. There's another victim here. We're going to be taking this building out. So I did want to get, uh, there's about two, two and a half loads in there or whatever of TMR. Uh, weird little glitch though, the silage has been stuck at 18,000 and I can't seem to make it go away <laughs> so we're gonna end up selling that building with 18,000 liters of uh, silage in it which is unfortunate but we have like a million <laughs> we've got millions of liters anyway so who gives a crap you know so we'll kill that building 17 months that one's been with us it's hard to believe so now I start playing around with I'm not placing anything yet but uh, I guess I've sort of opted to go the, I've never done a corn dryer before, so one of these will be the option, whether it's this whole entire piece here, although I'm a little nervous about, I think that's propane, uh, not entirely sure what, uh, what that means, but we'll figure that out. <laughs> Just want to check on this guy, make sure he's still doing the job he's supposed to be doing. It's looking good. It's going to be a big grass field. straw so I mean I did like I said I did up up the straw capacity in both those cow uh, pens so we're gonna have to we got this guy doing some doing some laps for a bit here anyways until both both enclosures are at 50,000 liters uh, and this day you knew you knew this day was coming uh, so it's time to dump the dump this uh, forge wagon it's been a great forge wagon but uh, I mean we can get a little bit more capacity out of the one we already got like what is it 28 operating hours 28 actual hours is that real? Like, is that actually 28 hours of using it? 18 months. And we're going to get 13 grand for it. But now we'll run with, um, basically we'll, we'll run with, um, I don't know, what's, what's the name of this? Two of these ones. Don't know what the name is, but these ones are, you know, 40,000 liter capacity. They work really well. They don't fold in that weird way that that other one did. I hated it when it was full of full of grass and then and then the worker would fold it and then it would just look so dumb all right so we're at 50,000 liters of straw now on this one get this little bit of access dumped into the other one and then uh we'll go fill this thing up again i did notice that uh, we so i put the manure pit over there and and uh, lo and behold it's uh, producing manure well, it says it's connected to modern cow barn and it doesn't list two modern cow barns so i'm curious 
to what, uh, I guess I could have checked the little graphic that pops up that tells me what's in each of those um, barns, but uh, yeah, I'll, ch I'll check that. Before I go put another one in, I'll check that. This was kind of cool. I had the worker bringing the, uh, that, that forge wagon back, and then I just so happened to be driving back to get more, uh, get more straw. It's kind of cool, caught up to the guy. So I make a little detour and just dump what's left in here. Um, oh no, yeah, that's right, because the straw, the straw, it was full straw already. So I, I got, I dumped the rest into the, uh, a little accident there. I dumped the rest into the straw processing and then I, uh, and then I came over here, smashed into that guy. And now we've basically got a worker uh, delivering some hay to those cows so we can feed them. So, I mean, we dropped whatever TMR was left in the, the building into one of those enclosures, the cow enclosures, but now we're going to put hay in there also. So we're just blitzing through the day here, obviously, the month. What's, what's it say for manure? It doesn't say anything for manure. But I bet you if I mouse over the other... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if... I'm going to put another manure pit in anyways and then see if uh, if both pits start getting fed. Sounds disgusting. Getting fed manure. I'm just watching this guy pull up here. It still has not gotten old uh, watching these tractors do their jobs. <laughs> the uh, When we roll into October, I can only imagine the harvest... We'll be harvesting and, and amongst other things, uh, it should be a little hectic. I just feel like I gotta keep checking on this guy. But he's doing a great job. Probably need to get a wider cultivator or plow at some point. So I opted for the, <coughs> wow. I opted for this building. Um, I may regret putting it here, but it just seemed like a, a reasonable spot. Uh, we kinda got a laneway between the flagpole and the greenhouse there. And then, uh, and then it sort of spits you out the back end. This building was in, in the way though, so we're not uh, we're not eliminating it. We're just moving it. Um, so we move it over to kind of this little corridor here. I didn't want to get it too close to the uh, to the one beside it though, in case things got confusing. And then I'm pretty much this is the landscape that we're going to uh, we're going to take. So I'll, I'll I paint it in just basically, and then uh, and then kind of smooth it out a little bit. Um, but that's uh, yeah, we're going to retain that as drivable and then the rest will probably get plowed this was interesting uh so look here if i drop this to a thousand yeah like so i can buy a thousand liters oh maybe that said ten thousand basically it looks like a thousand liters of propane is eight hundred dollars which uh which doesn't seem too bad um and then it takes like I was trying to run the math on the equation. Uh, I don't. I, I think it's going to take a while for it to burn through a thousand liters of propane. Although you probably know better because you've done it before. But I'll, I'll find out soon enough. All right. Now we got the uh, the cedar and the lime spreader working this field at the same time to uh, save time. Obviously, <laughs> I think uh, this should be safe though. And this guy is on his way up to sell some pig food, uh, of which I'm, I'm happy to report I've got the, uh, so the, the, with the help of, got a, a, was it Jack Sarge Farming? Or Mike, Mike's, uh, who the heck was it? Anyway, sorry, but the collision works now. So <laughs> I changed the setting and now, uh, now these guys can deliver to the co-op and they can deliver to, uh, to this, to the, this, this, they can deliver to these places, which I couldn't get it to work before. And we added a new truck. So this is, uh, I added this specifically to um, to move slurry. Uh, it is a sort of slurry digestate uh, truck, I guess, a uh, tanker. Um, so, and it rips, <laughs> this thing just flies. I've been trying to load it up and drive it up the hill. That might be a problem, but for now it's, uh, it's going good. So anyways, that, that's specifically there to to load up. I mean, the slurry, we're almost full in one, well, in one of those uh, cow pens. I can only imagine uh, it's going to fill up quickly. So I have to set up the auto drive route for it at some point here. But right now I just, I just filled it and then we, uh, we sent it off to the slurry yard. Pricing is not necessarily at its highest, but I don't know. I'm a bit of a I always want to make money. So once I got this old slurry trailer out of the way, uh, the guy was able to 
drive forward and sell a load of uh, slurry for us. And then that pretty much covered us for the month of September. So we'll see you in October. Hey guys, welcome to October. What'd you think of that little 10 minute blitz as we uh, cruise through September? Honestly, I probably could have stretched out an entire episode in the month of September doing a uh, you know, stuff, but I figured we might as well get to the, uh, we, we've got some harvesting in the month of October here, and then we can still do stuff because we have, uh, workers that can run around for us and whatever. So, um, yeah, anyways, that was a, uh, that was a whirlwind tour of September. Let's get to work in October. So if we look quickly here, we've got right in front of us, a field of oats that's ready to harvest. Beside that, we have a field of wheat, which is also ready to harvest. And then we have the two sunflower fields that uh, border our, our road on the way in. That's ready to harvest too. So we're going to get to work on those. And I just want to check. I have a sneaking suspicion. I've got to get to work feeding these cows. So they need, these guys need straw and they need uh, food. And these guys need straw and food. Let me go grab a tractor and a forge wagon, and I'll probably just get somebody doing some loops here. I don't really want to use these forge wagons, so I will have to get, uh, I want to get something that's not a forge wagon anyways, um, to cart back and forth here, but I believe I already have a trailer over there, so maybe we'll rip over there first, grab that trailer and bring it back, because I think it even has a little bit of something in it. I don't know what it's got in it. I checked on the birds, uh, so overnight uh, we had about 500 male uh, ducklings now in that building there. Uh, there's probably another 500 uh, you know, female ducklings also, um, so we'll kill them, uh, kill them, uh, sell them off. Um, we'll sell off the males anyways. Uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll keep the, keep the females, I guess. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst to let, allow each month, like if I just sell off the male ducklings and keep the female ducklings, and then um, eventually there'll just be less and less room for new ducklings to spawn, of which uh, that will mean less and less male ducklings will habitate or spawn or whatever. And uh, I, I don't know what the, what, I gotta look it up or maybe somebody can tell me, like with ducks, wh at what point should I be selling them? And then I don't think I have an option to sell them for meat on this map, do I? Have you, uh, has anybody seen the um, Farmer Klein video? Uh, so so the updates, update 1.4 or whatever for um, Hint, or Hinterland, for Hoff Bergman um, and the meat ducks or meat chickens and the processing plant. Uh, he, po he posted a video showing the, uh, the process. Oh my God, look at all this manure in here now. Uh, he, he posted a video showing the process of, uh, of taking a bird and, and, uh, processing it into, you know, packaged meat. Um, and, uh, it's while slightly horrifying, also hilarious. All right. We are away to the races. Okay. This is the inaugural harvest for our our harvester, uh, which we haven't really even talked about yet. So this is a uh, case, this is an off mod hub anyways, a case, um, a case IH uh, harvester with a pushing, I wanna say right close to 200 horsepower, 195 maybe, and um, uh, 10,000 liter capacity. So I'm pretty uh, pumped to move to this uh, from the, the Dominator was great. If we ever run into a pinch, I've kept it. We could use it, but I would prefer to use this now. Obviously I've got a wider, I think I went with the, I tested it. I wanna say it's an 8.1 meter, oh, look who's back. I wanna say it's an 8.1 meter header and the trail, so the car, whoever's carting for it will be able to uh, sort of sneak under that header, so. Looking good, nice and smooth. We don't need any drama today, okay boys? Let's get this done. Hopefully it has no problems with the hills. There you go, the trailer fits, that's good. 
That guy's going for one more load of hay, and then he'll switch to uh, to the other cow building, I believe. I need a 20,000 liter trailer that I can cart with. Because then uh, it's two loads and then it dumps. Right now I have a 12,000 liter trailer, I think. So we may go shopping here while these guys are working. Um, but in the meantime, let me just go double check on the tractor that is uh, feeding the cows. So he's actually hitting this trigger and feeding these guys first, I think, maybe. So that'll take us to 80,000 liters of food there. There's still going to be hay in the in the truck. Has he been coming over here? No. So he's got a little bit of hay left in that tractor or in that that forge wagon. So I don't know whether it's going to trigger to dump that or whether he's just going to go back and get more. All right. So he's just going to head back and get more. And I'm trying to use the uh, all of the hay that's in the far grass dryer because then I can go and begin to use this one here. This is the new grass dryer. That's the old grass dryer. So we've got like maybe three more loads in there anyways, and then, uh, and then it's done. And then we can make use of that space for something else. So the biogas plant has been cooking along nicely. June, almost 70 grand, 70 grand July. Like basically we're making about 70 odd thousand dollars off of that single biogas plant. Uh, I think what we need to do at some point here today, hopefully, is put in another biogas plant. All right, I don't know exactly what she's doing, but I, I so I've not spent any time yet trying to learn the difference between the sort of primary and secondary routes yet. So uh, my workers will be taking some odd routes at times. But there you go. So I, I put the combine on round or round corners, soft corners or whatever. Um, so I think in some of these corners we're going to leave. I did three headlands, so there's one more headland after this. But uh, I think we're going to end up with a, a couple spots where um, where there's a little bit of uh, oats left. It's kind of annoying how they always go back to that one spot. I don't know if I can set up multiple places on the field so that way for example if he's full on the other end you know they don't have to come all the way back over here to check in all right so that's good news all right i just want to find a good place to dump this cedar here so it's out of the way and then we'll send this guy up uh to buy ourselves a new trailer i think i can pretty much fit anything underneath the uh the pipe of the new harvester what was that? Oh, $87,000. Okay, well, let's move. So it's about 87, so let's call it $90,000 uh, just now for uh, for slurry, or, or yeah, for, for the sale of the slurry, which is good. Uh, here's a question. I can put slurry into the BGA, or I can sell it at the, um, at the slurry uh, building, or whatever it's called. My guess is that the slurry yard is going to be the more beneficial for us, but uh, if you know different, let me know. Okay, after searching all throughout the Mod Hub, or Mod Hub, or whatever the store, um, not totally pumped on this, but uh, it's as close to 20,000 liters as I can get. I didn't want to go over because I didn't want to have the, I didn't want to have the worker waiting to potentially get to like 20,000.5, um, and I wanted to get as close as I could. So, I mean, this is it for now. Hopefully it fits. When I say hopefully it fits, I hope it fits under the um, under the arm. But and I believe this dumps both sides and has the grain door at the back. So hopefully that's a good option for us. We'll go dump these oats into the production. We are going to have a lot of flour, so that means that our cookies are going to start to uh, make. The cake is going to, I, I believe we're out of flour in the old, uh, the general mill or the bakery. Now, uh, in regards to straw, I think what I'm going to do, okay, I see our worker coming. I'm like, where are you? I think in regards to straw, so I'm, I'm having a bit of an issue. I got the uh, no space um, uh, error over here, so I have nothing in there they're both set to distribute yeah see this is this is there it's ready to go these are uh, oh sorry active 
active. So those are both active. These both say out of space. I have a, uh, I've got 143,000 liters of straw in there, which kind of pisses me off because if I lose it, uh, I won't be necessarily happy, but I don't know what else to do. So, which, which kind of sucks because I'm going to be pulling a lot of straw off the field today. Uh, so I don't know what to think of that. Well, John Deere's just ripping over there. Oh my God. Let's go. Let's go watch the magic happen. Is it going to get under the pipe? Looks like it's getting under the pipe. So we just probably want to remember to always cart with single wheeled uh, tractors and not double because it is pretty snug to the header there. Oh, there's room. Pick up at the old general mill, drop off at the sell everything container, big food. We only need to go once because it's like 3000 liters. Okay, what is happening over here? You guys need straw. You have more than enough food. I can hear you chewing. These guys are screaming. They have a bunch of food. They need straw. So everybody needs straw. Oh. There's only four. I can put 200,000 liters of straw into this. Will this guy fit through there? If this guy fits through there, then I think that's what we'll be doing. We'll be putting, taking the straw off and putting it right into here. Cause I think there's, I think we're running low. Yeah, that doesn't look good, does it? <laughs> Shoot. All right, this will be a bit of a controversial move. Let's do that. I gotta pay to do that? Don't I sort of already own the the inside wheels? <laughs> Anyways, whatever. We're rich. All right. Well, we will uh, come back for our, our dual wheels. But I just I think in a pinch here, um, we're gonna have to do that. So the one thing that I cannot uh, so far predict is sort of getting so much stuff done and then how how that equates into total episode time i mean I, I took one i think it was the last one episode 23 and melted four and a half hours of recording time so that's not even including all the playing time because there was stuff that i did that i didn't record and melted it down to like an hour i might need to wait if i don't wait that uh, you know what let's just hope to get lucky <laughs> I was gonna say I should probably wait and then um, and then it'll be safer so they don't that combine doesn't collide with this. Uh, but you know what? Let's let's live uh, live dangerously. Oh, oh, oh. Speaking of dangerous, oh my god! <laughs> what the heck? Everybody's hitting the intersection at the same time. That's awesome. Just so there's no confusion, I'm gonna put this off in the grass. And we'll go tend to some other money-making ventures while we're waiting. So I can put the I can put the dudes on the the small trailer I've got over here. Um, the brown trailer and just have them run laps for the digestate. We're kind of there anyway, so I mean I could sell that. The slurry we are. I mean, we're not, I guess it, it doesn't make sense. Does it make sense to sell it just to sell it? We're going to keep making it. So what the hell? We'll just sell it. We'll go set the root up for that. I don't really know what to make of the manure. I got to figure out a good way to pick that up, I guess. And then, and then get that. I'm assuming that it, our best bet is to put in the slurry yard and not into the BGA. Let's go figure out the mess we've created over at the, uh, over at the cow fields, the cow fields. The cow pens. It's funny, I haven't really had much of a chance to drive this yet. Whoa, it's cool interior. Oh, that's a grass field. Anyways, it's not, not the end of the world. And saying that, I'll just drive over the grass field. Yeah, this is cool. No nonsense. Oh, I can sleep in here. I ended up having to play around with a couple different trailers to find something that worked well, but 
This combo seems to be good, and it looks decent. What I really wanted was a tanker truck, like a, a, a truck with a, a sizable enough tanker on the back of it. But um, in the end, I couldn't find anything with enough capacity or uh, with the horsepower that fit. I kind of like those Mac tanker trucks, but they, um, they're like 400 horsepower. There's like, I have two roots swinging through here. One, one was the original root for the milk. And then, uh, and I put the, I put the, 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 the trigger point or whatever, I put it uh, on the wrong route. A little bit of a tight turning situation there for the truck, but. So just to double check on the cows, these guys have food, we're emptying their slurry. What they don't have is a manure pit, and I honestly don't know whether the manure pit is... I don't know, what, I don't honestly know if this manure pit here is, is being fed by both or one cow barn. So I think we can probably afford to put in another manure pit over here. So let's do that. All right, let's just get this painted up. Like we see the nice thing about having all these workers do this work for us is we have the time to kind of hang out and do stuff like this. You know, we can catch up on, you know, how was your weekend? You know, anything new going on in your life? Although, then, I, then I'll get a message that says, worker is blocked, uh, all hell's breaking loose. <laughs> there's somehow, there's now fires in the game, although I guess there is with that emergency pack, but... All right, so we're gonna assume that that manure pit is now f being fed by that building. Let's just quickly flatten a couple of discrepancies out there. Excellent. Okay, so obviously that's a problem. Why this guy is parked right there, I don't know. I mean, really, the only two places this person's supposed to go, the wet spot field and the old general mill dump. Obviously there's a combine somewhere that's Where's the combine? Oh, the combine's up there. So, in all likelihood, they should be on their way up there now to empty the combine. At which point they'll probably be full enough that... Whoa! A little wild, that turn. At which point they should be full enough that they should go on load. I wonder what put them over there. I guess at the last... They, they, the last unloading was probably down at the far end there, and maybe they went to pull a U-turn and that building was in the way. Oh, this is not going to go well. Can you already see what's going to happen here? Unless this trailer pulls forward. If the tractor pulls forward after they unload, then we're okay. Uh, and maybe the combine will back up. But if they both back up, we're screwed. So what do you guys think of the harvester? I, I'm assuming that somebody else is probably using the same harvester. I guess it's not too exciting. But from the Dominator, it's like driving a Cadillac. It's like going from a uh, a 1987 Tercel to a uh, to a 1999 Cadillac DeVille. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so yeah, tractor's trying to back up. Let's hope the harvester doesn't do the same thing. Why are you backing up? Like you literally just have to drive forward. Uh, maybe they're just showing off. This guy's looking in his mirror like, would you stop that? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, what the heck? If the tractor would just pull forward... Wow, that was a little dicey. I got notified that the driver of the truck has reached the slurry yard and that can only... 
lead me to believe that they've delivered their two loads. So now we can set them up with the other. I think we can probably take three or four loads out of the other um, cow barn. All right, don't turn, go straight. Yeah, I guess it was just a weird little glitch the way they uh, opted to go, you know, behind that building over there instead of where they were supposed to go. So weird. One thing I was thinking about this, so when I eliminate this straw building here, that's going to open up a big chunk of space over here to put something. At which point we may want to address this bottleneck in our bakery and come up with a second bakery to compete. All right, so let's get this person back over. I should get the dudes over here to unload some digestate too. We can just slowly make money in the background. So the the plan for today really was not uh, like I don't I don't have any major infrastructure uh, work that needs to be done. I mean, we essentially need to get uh, the what amount of four fields harvested, which. I'm at about an hour's worth of recording time here already, so I don't really know what this is going to mean. Maybe this is that two-hour episode you guys have been asking about. So we want to get this, the the uh, wheat field, the oat field, and the two sunflower fields harvested. And then I doubt we'll do it all in this episode, but then get the one sunflower field expanded, or both sunflower fields expanded, and then get... Um, and then get uh, get everything planted, uh, get the fields replanted, turned over, and 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 so on. So so there'll be it's crazy. Like you talk about like technology changing at an exponential rate, and how the speed of technology is you know out of control, and and that kind of feels like my farm. <laughs> it's just it's expanding at an exponential rate. That's pretty smart. So it knows to kind of back up. So I guess what it's thinking is this: the um, combine is going to present itself now for unloading, maybe. Or this guy's just following. It's like an ambulance chaser. Okay, I'm going to let these two guys do their thing. It looks like I got everything under control. We'll probably pick this up again back when we start the oat field there, because this will be a, a, a seven-hour episode otherwise. I think while we're waiting here. We'll bring in the demolition crew. I'm sure there's a good fix. So I didn't, I know maybe some, some of the thought with some of the issues before with the trees were, were um, or where you could run into that out of space uh, error would have been around um, uh, da, 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 the upgradable factories or something like that, um, which I think I've turned off. Uh, also, all, all the, also, or although, or whatever, I, 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 I've not upgraded anything, and, and th these were working perfectly, so it's kind of weird. But anyway, so I think I'll, I'll yes, a bakery I think is a good idea. Um, I have another idea here too, especially as we're producing milk like no tomorrow. This would be pretty uh, pretty standard uh, thing in the industrial world, I guess. As a uh, factory moves out, the uh, the property manager would come in and sort of clean up the yard. So let's just make sure everything's nice and smooth in there for the next tenant which is me, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's check out the footprint of this. So, <clears throat> I don't understand this. Uh, this yogurt factory that produces uh, aged cheese. <laughs> Where's the yogurt? Wow, that really goes and paints a substantial amount of the ground, doesn't it? Ooh, this is a uh, tight little spot over here. <laughs> I don't, I don't think this is gonna work too well, guys. So, coming over that hill any second should be our our um, carting tractor. I don't know. I don't know about this.
Okay, so now this dummy thinks he's gonna back up the hill. And then the combine's gonna try to back up, I think, right? Is that how this works? Oh, maybe we'll be okay. Okay, by no means was this an ideal spot for all this to happen, but you know what? Looks like we're working. All right, we got the auger on. And that is right in there, so. I guess we'll watch and see that magic happen. Okay. Probably not the most uh, efficient way of doing that, but that's okay. So I have another small, so at 20,000 liters, you're like f six loads and this thing's full. So let's see how fast that fills up. What do we have in here? We have soybeans. We still have soybeans in here. All right, we may find ourselves in a situation where we have too much wheat. Hopefully, that's not a bad problem to have, I guess. I right, was just testing or watching here. Anyways, a couple little screw ups with the uh, with this um, drop off point here. Uh, similar issues to what I had before. So let's just see if this works. Okay, that's good news. Oof, man, what kind of day is this? Wow. I guarantee I'm gonna find some stuff to cut out of this recording. <laughs> Perfect. Nice thing about that hayloft is the trigger is like huge in there. And I think, no, I don't wanna do this with duels. <laughs> I gotta always have the singles on this if I wanna do this. <laughs> don't ask me why. <laughs> If you can send them through a tunnel, why not, right? I can see our uh, forge wagon coming across the bridge right now. This person's not full yet, so... Uh, at 88%, I'm assuming this means empty when over 85, so... Okay. Kind of looks like that guy knows where he's going. Okay, thank God. So we know that works. Although the combine's just sitting over there waiting to be unloaded while this guy's out over here unloading, but you know what? That's okay. The only thing that would make this better is if I had two trailers on the back of them, but that might just be too much to ask, especially the way uh, the tractor tries to back up in certain places. I had like a major, major crash. I went to go... So I placed the yogurt factory back here. Seems like such a weird name for a factory. Anyway, so I placed the yogurt factory right here. I, I set up the roots, which everything was great. And then I went into the little, and I'm not gonna do this again, but I went into there and I hit the wrench to access the production and my whole screen went black. Uh, it brought up the, like the production menu that you'd get, uh, you know, um, here, it brought this up, but everything in the background was black and all of the, and basically all of the writing and everything was white and it, and it showed me, and it was locked on the straw processing and straw, um, storage, uh, the straw, uh, accessory storage. So it was locked on that. Uh, it was like, it was haunting me <laughs> and then everything just froze. So I ended up having to do a hard reboot of my computer and uh, and then go back and f figure out uh, there was it was almost, and then it was almost like some stuff saved and some stuff didn't save. So it was really, really weird. So anyways, I will not be hitting that wrench. I can tell you that much. Um, but yeah, it was just it was bizarre. So um, so in saying that, I've done a bunch of runs here. So now we have 75,000 liters of milk in here. Uh, we already have uh, almost 3000 liters of aged cheese uh, of Part of this mod, uh, there is a sell point. So we have a little market back here, which is called market. Yeah, okay, so it's not the most inviting place, but at almost $9,000 per thousand liters for cheese, I like it. Uh, so at the same time, 
Where's the milk? Oh, so we're down to 13,000 liters of milk in here. Okay, so I'm probably going to have to... The next the next round of milk is going to need to go in here. All right, so we're going to leave this here, I guess. Yeah, so we got to come up with something to do with all this space here. Not entirely sure yet. There were some good suggestions of what to do for... Um, for the wood chips, but I just don't think that I'm going to be doing enough. Like, so if I wanted to cut all the trees down a lot, like now we own that whole ridge at the back there, and there's a quite a quite a number of trees that uh, we haven't cut down yet. That guy's still going. Um, and then and then the newest field that we cut, which is a grass field, there's a bunch of trees at one end of that too. So we do have some trees if we wanted them. Uh, so I can shut the door here now. So we put we were, we're back up to 80,000 liters of food in here. Oh, I gotta get straw. All right, so we'll do straw in a minute. These guys are still plugging away here. I gotta get all the all the straw off of here. These guys have been funny to watch. Very smooth too. Like only the odd little glitch, and I think most of the time that was just my own fault. Basically now we just need the harvester to be done uh, so we can get it across to the sunflower fields. <laughs> and then at that point we'll have harvested the uh, the large the large wheat field, the wet spot, which is the canola, which was in this case not canola, which was uh, oat field. And then, um, and then we'll go attack those sunflower fields and then, man, that's a heck of a day. Uh, I, so obviously if I can get two harvesters working in the same field um potentially both dumping into something and then something else taking it away or whatever we got to come up with a strategy because uh it is it is uh it's a full day when you're harvesting these fields <laughs> I and mean, we only have the one uh the one harvester going anyways i mean we have more than one harvester but Not sure why they stopped here. Hopefully they're just trying to figure out what they're doing. So I can't remember what the capacity of this trailer was, but I guess we'll find out in a second here. This will be a busy little spot if I can... Uh, I guess the price of <laughs> maybe I shouldn't be selling sl uh, slurry right now. It looks like the price has gone down considerably from where it was. But whatever. I mean, by the time we wake up in the morning, we're gonna have another hundred thousand liters of slurry anyway. So I'm not worried. Yeah, we should be able to set a little hub up here. Uh, uh, there's a. Um, I think it's actually the map author has a uh, um, like a BGA also, uh, and it's it's cool. It's like a big. It's got a couple of big fermenters, and I think I may try to find a place for that over here somewhere. I didn't even look. Was it eleven or twelve thousand liters? I think. If it's let's say it's eleven or twelve, it's probably four or five loads. Oh, okay, yeah. Could we potentially have a million dollars in the bank by the time we go to sleep? I wonder if there's another good way to store loose straw. I, be I better take a look. There's probably, well, if I have 500,000 liters of straw between those two buildings, then I'll be putting the rest in the fermenter. <laughs> oh, look, we got a million bucks in the bank. I gotta watch those cow buildings because if, um, if the cows are constantly eating us out of house and home, then we're probably gonna need to get that contractor to increase the capacity. Is that the first million dollars? That's the first time we've had a million dollars in the bank, I think. I mean, we could, could, yeah, I don't, I don't ever remember that number being a million dollars. Congratulations, everyone. There you go, kids. Whoop. <laughs> That guy is excited for the straw. So I'll get them another 8,000 liters. Oh man, you're excited too. <laughs> I 
Okay, that's not the best setup. <laughs> not the best setup, but it'll work. Just trying to see if how much more we can fit in the silo. The trailer is about 20,000 liters. Let's see where we end up right now. All right, so we got a little less than 30,000, 29,000 liters, so 19. Anyway, it's okay. Well, we got what we can in there. And then the wor worst case is if this, the silo will be full and then we'll just put whatever excess into the small bird building and both bird buildings will be filled and we'll have another 125,000 liters of of backup uh, hay or straw or wheat sitting in the uh, sitting in the silo there, which is good. All right, we're bringing this guy into the game to start on the wheat field. I've set him to start on the head or the up and downs, hoping that. Uh, that would keep him away from running into the guys working on the far end of the field there. I'm kind of hoping he starts at this end um, going up and down, leaving the headlands alone, and then he can do the headlands at the end. Well, those guys are working so far over there. This field turned out to be a big field. Holy moly. Uh, well, I mean, we have been going for a considerable amount of time, and I'm not sure that I'm, I might be beat here. I, I don't know how I'm going to get to get to the sunflowers, replant these fields all in this episode. I, I just don't see that happening. All right, so we don't have to put any eggs into um, into the yogurt factory, of course. I think maybe we'll put this first, this, these first pallets we'll put into the cookie factory and then uh, the rest of them we'll put, go, try to put into the bakery. I still want to get a new bakery. So I'm curious to see how much I end up doing between episodes. I, I'd rather uh, do this while we're in the all together, but I mean, I just don't know how possible that's going to be. There's a lot. That's what I mean. I don't know how much longer I can handle this series. <laughs> the uh, things just get a little crazy. Because really, what's the next step? Like, the only thing you can do is more, right? It's like, oh, what do we do now? More, more, more. <laughs> okay, and we don't necessarily have a goal. It's not like it's not like we said, well, you know what? When we get to five million bucks, we'll stop. Like, I kind of said we'll get to like, you know a couple of years worth of episodes which is pretty much now anyways i mean it's october of the third year uh we started in august so august to august was one year august to august was two years and and i guess now we're in the third year Oh my gosh, look at this. No wonder everything's so quiet. I have three tractors sitting here in the middle. So I guess maybe what I'll do is between now and the next episode, I'm kind of talking like uh, we're, we're not gonna, we're not gonna be uh, together for all of the rest of the stuff in this episode. 
I, I will likely try to get those uh, two sunflower fields harvested. I probably won't have a chance to plant any fields. I don't think, anyways. I mean, I might get that one planted over there, the wet spot. Um, but there's a chance we'll be planting together because I want to expand the fields across the way there because I'm an idiot uh, and make my life even more difficult. So I want to do that. Uh, and then I, I will likely want to try to see what it's like to have multiple harvesters. Uh, we'll, we'll try to figure out how to complicate things. But, um, but yeah, anyway, so so that might be something we can do together is, is uh, expand fields and, and plant. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how ambitious I get because now I have um, I'll have just uploaded episode 23. This one's going to be episode 24. I've got a ridiculous volume of stuff coming up in the real world. Plus, I want to get I still want to get a um, uh, another Bally Springs recorded. And then uh, and then there's a new challenge coming up. <laughs> it's just like, oh, God, here we go. Um, so this this will be probably like a once a week kind of thing on here. When I when I want to completely crack my brain, I will. Uh, I wasn't like that before. I could pick this up before. I don't know. I'm kind of trying to eyeball it from here. And if it fits, it's going to be super tight. We may have to blow that bridge up and put in a new one. Yeah, I don't think so, folks. Oh, oh, it fits. <laughs> yes. There we go. Not that I don't want straw, but I don't want the straw. You don't get enough off these sunflowers and it's just a pain in the butt. All right, I took over for this guy just to kind of get things finished off on this field anyways. I have the uh, harvester and a wagon across the river there attacking the first um, sunflower field. Looks like I see a notification needs to be unloaded, so hopefully things are working out over there. kind of feel like I should go check, but uh, we'll know in a minute anyways when that message never disappears. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting late in the afternoon here. Well, four o'clock, but it feels it feels later. Maybe that's just because of maybe it's just me. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh, let's see, while they're doing that, let's just look at something here. <clears throat> what do I own up here? Oh, maybe I don't own. Oh, I do own this. So it'd be good if I own this. And I think I own all of this. Good Lord. So if I was just to say, let's say for example, I was to buy that and it looked like this. Oh shoot, I did it. Then all of this could become a f field <laughs> and all this could become a field. And then that's it, I swear. <laughs> then all this. I th I'm pretty sure the map's trying to kill me. What does this look for? Yeah, I mean, that's a good sized field right there. <laughs> what the hell? Where does it end, guys? Where does it end? Oh man, there's so much straw in that other field there and we're putting all this into the fermenter? No. That's not the case. I think some, I think we still have room in this, in this, um, the hayloft over here, right? Wow. So we're pretty close to having 500,000 liters of, uh, when Buddy comes over here. I don't, I'm, a, oh no, he's, so the other guy's putting his into the fermenter. Yeah, there's a million liters in there. There's a million liters of silage in that. <laughs> what is going on here? Looks pretty nice this time of day anyways, <laughs> if nothing else. God, the harvesting is just crazy. 
I don't know if we'll get a chance to put some stats at the end of the day here uh, up, but I mean, this. So this is. I mean, I guess maybe the most the, the most monumental thing out of all of this is the first time we've had a million dollars in the bank. But then obviously we only just bought one piece of property, only one piece of property. Um, I mean, we didn't really buy. What did we do? Did we get the forage harvest? I think we got we got the 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 wagon, the harvest, the forage wagon this morning. It seems like a million years ago. Moved the cows. Got a tanker truck. Like yeah, I guess we've done. It's been it's been a heck of a day. <laughs> it's like stupid map. I said it on hinterland, uh, and and before, and I've said it other times. Like my my favorite way of playing is is uh, small scales. You know, literally starting from scratch. Too broke to buy anything, um, you know. That's uh, always been kind of a desirable way f to play. I find uh, this gets this just gets crazy. Otherwise, like if I go and uh, expand those sunflower fields, the next episode we're gonna have harvests. We're going to have potentially grass to mow. Um, oops. Nope. Yeah, we're going to have so much to do. Oh, crap. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's a good way to end the day, rear end uh, the other worker. I got the the telehandler out there too. Anyways, let's let's uh, let's close out on this image. Just kind of nice. So, I, I imagine I've jumped all over the place. My edit here is going to be a nightmare trying to get this all put together. But, anyways, uh, it's been a hell of a day. I think um, when when I've got this much ground to harvest, uh, I, I I likely have to think of a better strategy and and uh, I'll be looking for um, tutorials on how to run to. Um, Two, two combines and you know multiple tractors. I just I can't you can't afford the downtime. I think right. So if that combine is sitting there with its pipe out and and meanwhile the uh, you know the your workers out there screwing around, then then uh, okay, I got to make sure I avoid that at all costs. So uh, that's probably a little bit of a learning from today. Plus plus I did have to mess around a little bit trying to set up some new um, new routes and things and and whatever. But and then I'll, I'll obviously in the middle of everything. Uh, um, the uh, game crashed, <laughs> which sucks, right? So lots of uh, lots of excitement today. Made lots of money. Didn't make any friends. Whatever. <laughs> so so we're gonna leave it at that. That was October. Uh, what the hell? Actually, it was more than October. It was partly September and October. I forgot we uh, had a little bit of September also. So I uh, appreciate the continued support, y'all. Uh, we'll see. Uh, April should be an interesting one. I think I've alluded to a new challenge, a crust do signature challenge <laughs> that uh, popped out there. looks like fun. Probably turn, will turn out to be a nightmare, but anyways, I'll, uh, I'll leave it at that. Thanks so much. Take it easy. Bye.